In this video we're going to learn how to create item fees and taxes in rows. So go to the hamburger menu at the top left, click on fees and taxes. You can see two fees that we already have in there. We have a, a square tax. So if we click on it you can see that the type is a square tax. So this is your state tax, city tax. Um, these are taxes that get communicated to Square and are added at the time of purchase at the register. You can see the tax rate here. Let's go back. You can see an item processing fee that we have set up. Now you can see it's not enabled, so it's not actually being attached to any items. Um, but in this case, what we're, you can see it's a, it's a simple fee. So, to, so what that means is every time we create a, an item, uh, so we price it for $9.99, if we create a $1 item fee, then that item price is going to be $10.99. Um, you can also do it as a percentage as well. Um, so in this case, we're going to do $1. We're going to re-enable it, and we're going to hit Save Changes. So you can see now it's enabled. Let's highlight it again. So, so now every time we price an item, whatever price we set, $7.99, $8.99, whatever it might be, we're going to add $1 to that price. And that's not shared with consigners. So that's, that's split from the sale at the time of sale. And then the leftover is split with your normal consignment split percentage. Um, we also have a complex fee. Um, so these gives us price ranges that we can set, and we can set the fee amount for each price range. So we can do a dollar amount, or we can do a percentage as well. So let's go back to simple fee and save changes. And so now we have a dollar fee attached to every item um, that we sell. That's how we create item fees and taxes in rows.